Hi guys, this is Rice Snow. So this is a kind of a extra video for my Notepad uh, tutorial that I made a while ago. And uh, uh, since I uploaded the final video for the tutorial, I received a couple of requests for a video about how to implement shortcut. So currently basically the only way to control this notepad is uh, using your mouse and uh, so hover like this and uh, click some of these items but of course you can implement a keyboard shortcuts so you can control this notepad uh, by using keyboard so I'm gonna explain how to do it okay first let's make another class so from here let's make another class and uh, I'm gonna name this as a uh, key handler class. You can choose whatever name you want. And implements key listener. So this is a J Java class uh, which can handle keyboard input. So import this and also so whenever you implement this key key listener uh, basically you need to type certain methods so eclipse kindly suggesting maybe you want to add these unimplemented methods so you just need to click this then uh, so it automatically add these three methods key typed key pressed and also key released so even if you don't use this method, but you still need to type when you want to use this key listener. So it's kind of a mandate. It's just a for format. So and these are comments. So let's delete this. And this time we only use this method key pressed. So we are not going to use this key typed and the key released. But before typing something inside of this key pressed method uh, let's make a constructor of this class first public key handler and uh, inside uh, let's get GUI class here so GUI means uh, this this class with a main method so GUI GUI and also this dot GUI called GUI so now we can access uh, stuff in this GUI class and uh, and let's choose this GUI class and uh, initialize this uh, key handler class so somewhere around here key handler uh, key handler or something new key handler and uh, let's pass this GUI class to the constructor of this class okay and also um, we're gonna add this key handler or more like a key listener to this jtext area because uh, this is the main area so jtext area you know this jtext area is basically always focused so we want to add key listener to this uh, text area so by typing like this text area uh, add key this nah. and inside of this round bracket we type key handler like this okay and this GUI class is done finished so let's take care of this part so what kind of shortcut we're gonna make so it's totally up to you but just for example First, I'm gonna make a S key shortcut. So if you press S, then uh, you can save the file. So and to do that, uh, you type like this: if 
uh, e.get key code and uh, equal key event dot bk s So this means if the key you typed is S, then uh, uh, let's save. So use this save function. So so we already uh, so to save the file, uh, we're gonna call this uh, save save method inside of this file uh, file class. So file class and the save method so we just need to call this method so first we're gonna type gui dot uh, file dot save like this so now you know you just need to type s key then uh, you can call this save method so let's check it okay uh, so i'm gonna type s yeah so save dialog box opened okay but uh, this is not so convenient because this is a notepad so you know just a single pressing key is you know you need to you need to type s to type s so so usually these shortcuts are activated by combination of some keys like a control plus something or shift plus something alt plus something so that's what we're gonna do next so we want to let the program detect if control key is pressed or not and uh, it's it's pretty simple you just need to type like this uh, okay. e dot is control down and so like this so this means if a uh, control key is pressed and also uh, then pressed s key then uh, let's open this save dialog so let's check it okay so now so first i'm gonna press a uh, hold control key then s okay so then uh, this save dialog open and also you can also use a shift key combination as well so for example another example is copy this and paste so e dot is shift down uh, like this and so this time so let's change this uh, save as Hmm. So you can choose whatever combination you want. But for example, but yeah, let's save this and uh, sample or something. Okay, so now file is saved. So even if you press Control plus S, you know it just saves the text, but it doesn't open the save dialog box anymore but if you press ctrl shift s then so you can you know save as something something else you know you can choose as a name so like sample 2 or something like this and another another shortcut example you often see is when you press alt key and something then uh, you can choose this uh, menu item so let's make one more example and this time i'm gonna use alt key so if you press alt plus f then uh, so it's gonna open this file menu yeah let's make this and this time if so we're gonna use alt so e dot uh, is alt down alt and uh, f key so 
And so how to open this file menu, how to click this file menu item. So we want to access this file. So this is, so we created inside of this GUI class. And this is uh, this one, I think, J menu file. So menu file is what we want to click. So uh, here, so first GUI dot uh, menu file dot do click. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's it. Let's check it. Okay. So I'm gonna press Alt and F. So now you can uh, select this file file menu. Yeah, so I think that's all. Mm. So yeah, like this, so you can choose whatever combination or key you want and uh, make shortcut. So I hope this is useful for you and thanks for watching and see you again.